The next topic is Presenham's line algorithm. Here you can look at the line starting point is 2010 and the ending point is 3080. And the line is drawn as shown. So here 2010 it starts and it goes to 2111 and like this till 203080. And here the line there is a choice between these two pixels. Either it has to choose this pixel or this pixel. Here it is choosing this pixel instead of selecting this pixel. So this choosing of these two, these two between these two pixels is decided using Bresenham's line algorithm. So the algorithm explains how to draw a line choosing which is the appropriate pixel that is to be chosen. So the choose this pixel or this pixel. So the appropriate pixel has to be chosen here. So the line is drawn according to that. Okay. So let us look at this algorithm. So here they are, uh, the equation of a line is the y is equal to mx plus p. So m represents the slope of it and x represents the x value and y represents the y value. So xk, xk plus 1, xk plus 2, xk plus 3 are the x values and y, yk, yk plus 1, yk plus 2, yp are the y values. Here, let us look at two important factors that is d lower and d upper. So that means if there is a line that is drawing, in the, when the line is being drawn, so there is a point that will it will form and the, there is a choice between these two pixels whether to choose the, uh, the upper pixel or the lower pixel. So the choosing this pixel, so that is xk plus 1, that is the next pixel is it's constant whether you choose yk or yk plus 1. That means if you choose yk that is the below pixel the xk plus 1 is compulsory chosen. If you choose yk plus 1 then yk, xk plus 1 is compulsory chosen. So whatever the case xk plus 1 is constant. So that means you are you're taking the next x pixel compulsorily. So whether you choose the lower pixel or upper pixel that you are going to choose xk plus 1. That is one point. And next one is x lower is the distance between these two. This d lower is the distance between this yk and y. d upper is the distance between y and y plus yk plus 1. So we have understood what is d lower and d upper. Here y is an equation of a line and m is the slope of it and the m is defined as y end minus y minimum divided by x end minus x minimum that is delta y by delta x. pk is a decision parameter. If pk is negative then d lower is less than d upper. If pk is a decision parameter if it is negative then d lower is less than d upper. So that means if d lower is less than if d lower this this distance this distance between these two is lesser then this pixel is chosen. If this distance is lower to y then this pixel is chosen. That is what pk is a decision parameter. If it is negative decision parameter if it is negative that then d lower is less than d upper. That means this pixel is chosen if it is negative. If the pk is positive then this pixel is chosen. If pk is negative, this pixel is chosen and if pk is positive, then this pixel is chosen. And we know that m is equal to xn minus x minimum, y, yn minus y minimum divided by xn minus x minimum that is equal to delta y by delta x. So that is the equation of a line. So y coordinate on a mathematical line at pixel columns position xk plus 1 is calculated that means the next xk plus 1 is calculated and y is equal to mx plus b is termed as then for xk plus 1 is y is equal to m into xk plus 1 plus b and d lower is y minus yk so you will subtract the y minus yk is the distance between these two and the next one substituting this uh, substituting these values here that is the y value is equal to m into x, x b plus 1 plus b is substituted y here 
and that yk here. So how did we get y? We we know that we know that d lower. This is d lower is y minus yk. Y minus yk. Substituting this y value here. So now we get substituting this value m into xk plus one plus b minus yk. And next d upper is got by substituting uh, yk plus one yk plus one that is the above one minus y. Y k plus one minus y is d upper the this distance. So you you have this y k plus one minus m y substituting the y value m into x k plus one minus b. So we have got two equation that is d lower that is equal to m into x k plus one plus b minus y k. D upper is y k plus one minus m into x k plus one minus b. So these are the two equations that we have got from the given data. Now, d lower, d lower minus d upper will determine the pk. So pk determines which pixel has to be chosen. So d next, let us look at the Presenheim's line algorithm. Here we need to define the uh, the brief introduction of the of the Presenheim's line algorithm. So we need to decide uh, the p naught. P naught, P naught value two into delta y minus delta x, and if P k is less than zero, then it chooses the next pixel that is the lower pixel, and if it is P k is greater than, it chooses the upper pixel. So we are discuss we are not discussing the Bresenheim's line algorithm. This is a brief introduction about Bres a brief picture about Bresenheim's line algorithm. So what are we trying to find out now? This is the Bresenheim's line algorithm, and we are trying to find p naught, p k, uh, and we are going to check whether p k is less than zero. If it is less than zero, then p k plus one, that is the next p k, is the formula we are going to derive this. Then p k plus one equals to p k plus two into delta y minus delta x. So this is it is less than the when the pixel lower pixel is chosen, and this is when the upper pixel is chosen. So if p k is less than zero, then the lower pixel is chosen. This is the formula. If p k is greater than zero, this is the formula. So we are going to derive this value p naught. We are going to derive what is p k p k. We are going to find out p k, and we are going to find out what is p k plus one. If it is negative less than zero, then if it is p k is greater than, then we are going to select this value. So we are going to derive um, p naught. P k plus one and P k plus one. So this is the algorithm of it. So delta y divided by delta x is the um, uh, the m that is the slope. So based on that slope, we have calculated this delta y and delta x. So we are going to find out what is P naught, what is P k plus one, and what is P k plus one. If it is great less than zero and if it is greater than zero. Now this is the line that we have already shown. That is we have already seen. Um, And that is, uh, it starts with ten and uh, twenty and ten, goes till thirty and eighteen. Now we need to derive derivation of pk. Pk is derived as d is equal to d lower minus d upper. That is, we know that d lower is m into x k plus one plus b minus minus y k. This is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, for d lower. And this is y k into y k x uh, y k into x k plus one uh, minus m into x k plus one minus b. The uh, m into x k plus one uh, here also m into x k plus one. So this is the minus sign. We get common, and then it is two into m two m into x k plus one, and this is plus b, and this minus and minus it becomes plus b. So it becomes Plus two b, and this is y k, and this is mi minus into y k. So this y k it becomes two into uh, y k minus one. This becomes minus one. So this is a derivation, and substituting m equals m slope is equal to delta y by delta x. Substituting slope, so delta here replace m by delta y by delta x. Replace m. So multiply this delta x to here. Multiply this to here. Multiply here. And multiply this delta x to the left hand side, so you get two into delta y into x k plus 
टू इंटू डेल्टा वाई माइनस टू इंटू डेल्टा एक्स वाई के एंड दिस इज कॉमन डेल्टा एक्स इंटू टू बी माइनस वन एंड द डेल्टा एक्स इज माइनस टू द एल एच एस सो एल एच एस इट इज डेल्टा एक्स इंटू डी लोअर माइनस डी अपर इक्वल्स टू इंटू डेल्टा वाई एंड दिस इज द सेम इक्वेशन इज कॉपीड हियर एंड सी इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा वाई प्लस टू डेल्टा एक्स इंटू टू बी माइनस वन दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू सी इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ पिक्सल दैट इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू द पिक्सल so this becomes this whole thing becomes constant that means whichever whatever the value this this value gets so it will not affect the pk so that's why it becomes constant and the um, decision parameter if pk based on this by substituting all this if pk becomes negative then d lower is less than d upper okay if it is greater than 0 d upper is greater than uh, is less than uh, d lower If pk is positive, d lower is greater than d upper. So that means if pk is negative, then the lower pixel is chosen, and that is y is chosen. If pk is uh, positive, then yk plus one is chosen. It is here yk yk is chosen here, and yk plus one is chosen. That means the upper pixel is chosen here if it is positive. Um, lower pixel is chosen if it is negative. D lower pk pk is negative. then we have seen that the we need to derive p not we have from an algorithm we have seen that p not pk equals delta x into d lower minus d upper in the previous slide we have seen that so substituting that d lower minus d upper the values here we have derived in the previous slides so substituting it and taking this uh, two as common okay and where when it be, when it is zero the x not plus b minus y not becomes zero And m equals delta y by delta x by substituting this. So two into delta x into two into delta y by delta x minus one. So p p not equals two into delta y minus delta x. That we have we have found what is p not. That is the first part of an algorithm we have derived. What is p not? Then we need to derive p k plus one. so that is pk for the next coming value so the pk plus 1 when it is k plus 1 so pk plus 1 pk plus 1 by substituting k plus 1 for the previous we know what is pk and substituting pk uh, uh, k to k plus 1 so substituting k to k plus 1 here here uh, 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 substituting k plus 1 and you have pk plus 1 minus pk Pk plus one minus Pk, you get a formula. Here xk plus one equals xk plus one. So here xk plus one equals xk plus one. So that means the next pixel. That means every time you are going to go to the next pixel. So then now uh, we uh, is by substituting these values. Here it becomes Pk plus one equals Pk uh, plus two into delta y minus two into delta x, where This becomes one. This this becomes one. This becomes becomes x k plus one minus x k. So remaining this x k x k cancels and it becomes one. And here uh, y k plus one minus y k. So this the defining this this equation is zero. This becomes zero. It depending on the p k sign. Okay. So if it is if it is negative and if it if it is uh, this becomes A uh, positive, uh, positive means it becomes one. Negative means it's zero. So you have this uh, uh, p k plus one. It means if p k is positive, then p k plus two into delta y minus two into delta x is the value, and p k plus one equals p k plus two into delta y. Is p k is if p k is negative. So this is the value we have derived. If it is negative. then it will it will select the lower pixel then if it is positive then it selects the upper pixel in resonance line algorithm so we have uh, we started with all we calculate all the delta x delta y constant that is delta x delta y is the slope uh, delta x delta y is got from the slope uh, value and uh, p not equals 2 into delta y minus delta x and then we calculate if pk is less than 0 
and the, it selects the lower pixel and if pk is greater than 0 it selects the upper pixel this is what we have calculated in the previous part now let us look at an example uh, how we, are, we can solve this one so here we have, we have seen that example 20 and 10 and next one is 30 and 18 so it starts with delta x delta x is equal to x maximum minus x minimum and delta y equals x max, y maximum minus y minimum so that is um, uh, 18 minus 10 is 8 and then 30 minus 20 is 10 so that is delta x and delta y so then p naught we have calculated 2 into delta y minus 2 into delta x uh, into delta x minus equals 6 um, then uh, calculated initially uh, the point starts with 20 and 10 where k equals 0 and p k equals 6 and it is greater than uh, 0 then uh, it is p k is greater than 0 then it will select the upper pixel so that is 21 and 11 so now we need to calculate what is p k plus 1 the next pixel the next pixel formula is if it is greater than this is the formula so we substitute this formula that is p k plus 2 into delta y minus 2 into delta x all this 6 is here and 2 into uh, delta x is 8, uh, delta y is 8 and 2 into delta x is 10. So, we are substituting. So, 2 is the uh, next pk. So, next pk we look, so you substitute this 20 and 10 and then 21 and 11. So, similarly we calculate k equals 1, pk equals 2 and pk greater than 0. Then it is greater than 0 because it is 2 and then we select the upper pixel that is 22 and 12. Now pk plus 1. So when we calculate this is the formula for pk plus 1 and while calculating for the next pk, so next pk plus 1 is the next pk, the, this becomes minus 2. So when it becomes minus 2, then the next pk is negative, the sub, but substitute this, the, the next pixel you, are, you have got that is 22 and 12. So 22 and 12 is substituted and the next is k is equal to 2 and pk equals minus 2. So this is minus 2 and pk is less than 0 and then P, uh, uh, xk plus 1 uh, and yk. That means since it is negative then there is only increment of x and no increment of y. So that means it remains, y remains where it is. The, the next pixel remains the same way. So that is 23 and 12. So next, it is since it is negative then this is the formula it is used. Then pk, next pk is got by this formula and substituting it becomes 14. That means pk is next pk is positive. So it remains the same. So it remains where it is. So 23 and 12, it remains where it is. That means because it is negative, pk is negative. So you, you choose the lower pixel. Similarly, calculate the next for k is equal to 4. Um, k is equal to 4, this is the formula. And here pk is greater than 0. We we'll select the upper pixel. And this is for k equal uh, pk plus 1. The next pixel. And the next pixel, the pixel is greater than zero, pk is greater than zero. That is six. So we select the upper pixel, and the formula for the next uh, pixel is this is a pixel, and we calculate it. And here that is 26 and 15, and then uh, k equals six, and pk is equal to two, and pk is greater than zero, and uh, it selects the upper pixel, and pk plus one is the formula, and we select uh, this becomes negative. So the uh, the presently it is it selects the 27 16 for the next pixel it, it will select the uh, pk, uh, the lower pixel so here pk is negative so it selects 28 16 that means lower pixel then pk plus 1 is positive so it selects the lower pixel for the next pixel it is positive okay similarly the last pixel is obtained and now um, initial GLUT initial is uh, the, uh, let us understand the algorithm of resonance line program. So algorithm is GLUT init um, uh, uh, and of ARGC. This is uh, GLUT initialize the graphics. So initialize the program with graphics utility toolkit and GLUT init display mode. So it is the display mode and select the single buffer and select RGB mode. And this initialize the single and uh, single buffer and select the color mode RGB. Initialize the window size. You still initialize the window size. Set the windows width and height of the window. And GLUT init window position. So this is the position window where the position of the window should be. And create window the basic OpenGL function window. 
so this is a function and this will call this glut display function will call the display function which will display the all the uh, function that is to be display, all the function that is to be displayed and gl clear color and gl clear so it will select it, the background is cleared and it will select the color which is load identity will select select the uh, identity matrix it will it will refresh and it will select the identity matrix for the matrix it will reset the matrix to the identity matrix and this is the open open gl libraries and this is open gl glu gl glut yes so these are the open gl functions and gl specifies the lower lower level and it has a vertex matrix that is it will specify the points and glu specifies the functions which is for example look at table GLU is a graphics library utility toolkit which specifies the window size that type of functions it is at a higher level now the formula the program so we are considering is as shown so this is the first part of a program and this is the second part the next part and now algorithm of the program so this is algorithm it is the initial point this x0 y0 is the initial point and then we specify the first point and the second end point and we calculated delta x delta y and the calculate the values part of the algorithm which is to be used and calculate p not and then calculate pk if pk is less than 0 then we select the next pixel uh, that is uh, if it is less than 0 we select the lower pixel if it is pk is greater than 0 it select the upper pixel so that is what let us look at the first part of the program so here m is calculated that is the slope here the slope is dx dy other delta x and delta y is calculated here so delta y is x maximum minus x minimum this is a y maximum minus y minimum is dx and this is delta x and delta y is calculated here so this part uh, y and minus y minimum x and minus x minimum so that is delta x by delta y that is dy by dx in this example so that is dx and uh, dx and dy is calculated and the next one is 2 into uh, dy minus uh, dx is p naught so 2 into delta y minus delta x is p naught we calculated so then it is 2 uh, dy that is 2 dy is p of k plus 1 so 2 of p of 2 into delta y pk we have already known so for both values we have pk we are same constant and we need to calculate this 2 into delta y so that here you get a 2 dy so 2 dy is calculated that is this part of the code and 2 dy uh, 2 2 into dy minus dx is this part of the code you calculate it here and you substitute this value and this is to decide which xy is to taken which xy is to be taken as the initial point and the next one is uh, here we plot the initial point and we calculate it if uh, pk is less than 0 then select the lower pixel uh, that we calculated this formula and then this is the formula is uh, pk is constant that's why is p plus 2 delta y and pk is constant for the, uh, both the values the pk the pk plus 2 into delta y minus 2 delta x we have already calculated so if it is less than 0 select the lower pixel if it is greater than 0 select the upper pixel and then plot the points Thank you.